My name is Manuela Botlik. I'm here today with the Abedaman of Vichy. Jörg is going to show us an interesting demonstration that compares Vichy ambient light phototransistors to competing parts and other transistor types. Jörg, what are we going to see today? Simply spoken, a silicon eye. In all display related applications like mobile phones, LCD TVs and interior automotives, there is a need to control the brightness level of any displays according to the environmental conditions. In order to control the display correctly with a semiconductor based phototransistor, it is necessary that the phototransistor has a similar sensitivity characteristic like a human eye. But how is the Vichy part different than the others? Let's first have a look at this graph here. It shows the different sensitivity characteristics of the devices that will be shown in the demonstration later. The bright green curve shows the spectral sensitivity characteristic of our human eye. The dark green curve shows the spectral sensitivity characteristic of a standard technology-based phototransistor. It has its highest sensitivity in the infrared portion. And there is already the dilemma. A standard phototechnology-based uh, technology phototransistor rates different light sources at a different brightness level. For example, a very dim incandescent light bulb with a high portion of infrared in its emissions, emission spectrum would be rated as a very bright light source using a standard phototransistor. The bright blue curve shows the sensitivity characteristics of our competitor's device. Already the peak is shifted towards the peak sensitivity of our human eye and already achieves a quite good adaption level to our human eye characteristic. The yellow curve represents the sensitivity characteristic of our TEMT 6200FX01 ambient light phototransistor. With its unique filtering technology, we come very close to the human eye characteristic. This is impressive. That really is, and the effects of the three different components we can now see in the following demonstration. We have here two different light sources. The first light source, a halogen lamp with a high portion of infrared emission. Second, a white LED light source with basically no infrared portion in its emission spectrum. Furthermore, we have three different positions for the sensor components. In the first position is a standard technology-based phototransistor. In the second position is our competitor's ambient light phototransistor. And in the third position, which is TMT 6200FX01. So we set the brightness level to a typical office environment, let's say at 1500 lux. We first take the reading with the light source of the halogen lamp and record the measurements. Now we switch the light sources and go over to the white LED. We still have 1500 lux, but now coming from the white LED light source. We again compose the measurement and store the readings. Now we can compare the results. The bar comparison shows the different ratings of the different light sources. Ideally, a human eye would rate the two light sources at the same level and the two bars would be at exactly the same height. The standard phototransistor, here represented as the blue bars, shows a deviation of a factor of four, which means the halogen lamp is rated four times brighter than the LED. The competitor part is off by a factor of 1.2 halogen and LED. The red bar represents the comparison of the two light sources by our TEMT 6200F. And they're almost at the same level already. So they quite closely adapt the sensitivity characteristic of a human eye. Wow, that's interesting. So this means the Vichy part almost behaves like a human eye? That's correct, Manuela. And with its unique filtering technology, our TMT 6200FX01 can be used to control the brightness level of any displays. 
It also benefits the user in two ways. It increases the comfort level of the user, and it contributes a great amount to energy savings, which is especially important for battery power driven devices. Thank you, Jörg, for sharing this interesting demonstration with us. This has been a Visual Tech Cast. I am Manuela Botlik. Thanks for watching.